Let's work on addition and subtraction. Balance equations up to 100. What number makes this equation true? So something I learned was that the equal sign is a lot like a teeter-totter, which means that this side of the equal sign has to be equal to this side of the equal sign. If not, well, then they're not equal. So, to solve this problem, we need to look and see, make sure that this side will equal this side. Since we have a missing number here, let's solve this side of the equation first. What is 11 minus 4? Well, 11 minus 4 is 7. So we have 7 plus blank equals 7. So what number must be true, must be placed here to make this true, to make it equal to 7? Well, 7 plus 0 equals 7. So let's place that in there and answer our problem. Now let's look at the scratch pad. Th this side of the equal sign is 0 plus 0. Well, we know that 0 equals something minus 9. Well, something minus 9 equals 0. So what would that be? Well, 9 minus 9 equals 0. So let's close our scratch pad. There's 9. Nice work. Open up that scratch pad again. Remember that this side of the equal sign has to equal this side of the equal sign. So let's solve for the part that has the two pieces. 0 plus 2 equals 2. So 2 equals something minus 3. So something minus 3 equals 2. I can add 3 more to 2 to figure out that number. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So 5 minus 3 equals 2. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to look at the two sides of the equal sign. We have one side here that we don't know, and we have this side here which has two parts. So 7 plus 1 equals 8. So 15 minus something, 15 minus something equals 8. Well, I know in the fact family 15, 8, and 7. So 15 minus 7 equals 8. That's right. Here's our next equation. We have something minus 1 equals 8 plus 9. Well, 8 plus 9 equals 17. So something minus 1 equals 17. I can add that 1 to 17 to figure that out. So 1 plus 17 is 18. So 18 minus 1 should equal 17. Let's see if 18 is one of our answer choices. It is. Super. Now, what number makes this equation true? Let's use that scratch pad. We see that there's one side of the equal sign and two sides of the equal sign. This side over here has our complete with two numbers. So 13 minus four is nine. So 9 equals 3 plus something. Well, 3 plus 6 equals 9. So we're looking for 6. Now, 14 minus 4 equals something plus 4. So let's use our scratch pad. We see our two sides of the equal sign here. Let's solve for the side that has two numbers. So 14 minus 4 equals 10. So 10 equals something plus 4. Well, we can count up from 4 if we're not sure. But 4 plus 6 equals 10. So let's close that scratch pad and click 6. Again, we have an equal sign that has two sides, one side here, one side here. This side has two numbers we can solve for. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So 5 minus something equals 3. Well, if I have 5 and I take away 2, that would give me 3.
So close that scratch pad, click two, and let's keep going. Let's use our scratch pad again to look at the two parts of the equal sign, of two sides of the equal sign. We have something minus one and four plus nine. Well, four plus nine is 13. So something take away one equals 13. So one more than 13, which is 14. Nice work. And now we are on to our last one. Something minus three equals eight plus seven. So we're looking at our two sides of the equal sign. Eight plus seven is 15. So something minus three equals 15. I can always add that three to 15 to figure that out. So something minus three equals 15. 15 plus three is 18. So 18 minus three equals 15. So let's see if 18's up here. It is, let's close that scratch pad. Nice work. We did a really great job today doing addition and subtraction, balancing equations up to 100.